Tsavo is one of the most important places for elephants in the whole of Africa. It has a tremendous history of endeavor and quite a sort of roller coaster existence. We're trying to find out how many elephants there are. Two ways you can do this. One is a total count where you fly with a large number of airplanes and you try to count every square foot. But it's very, very expensive. In many of these areas, we can't afford to do a total count. So we have come up with techniques for counting a known and systematic sample and extrapolating from that sample to arrive at a population estimate. It will enable us, probably for the first time, um, to be able to compare the two methods. Ideally, instead of having one chance for a human to fly by and count everything perfectly, what we'd like to do is to be able to use photographs. Together with the Save the Elephants and other partners, we are uh, piloting uh, use of photography uh, to see whether it can improve the, the precision and accuracy in what we do. This comparison has never been done before. So I have to be double accurate. And uh, that's, that's challenging, especially when it's hot and windy. But uh, once again, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. For these two methods, we are having two sets of cameras. One is situated very close to the observers, and they have remote controls in their hands, which they're clicking whenever they see a large group of animals or a herd of elephants. They count uh, out of the window between rods that are placed on the aircraft to, to determine a strip uh, on the ground each side um, of known width. When we fly at a particular height, we know what the sample size is. The photographic count is going to allow us a chance to do the same kind of sample count, looking at the same area, and be able to go back and review the pictures at, at, at leisure, taking several months to review them, and see if we get the same numbers out of the photographic count. So that's the central part of this experiment, what's so new here, is that we're actually doing these, these two experiments side by side. We anticipate acquiring about 190,000 images in these difficult times for wildlife and the environment across the world and in Africa in particular where we have very high intensity for example of elephant poaching and rhino poaching at the moment. It's very important for wardens, protected area managers, conservation agencies to understand what is happening within the protected areas. Surveys are very critical because you'll know the numbers you are managing. You'll be able to tell whether the populations are in decline or they're increasing. And if this technique works in, in Kenya, it maybe it'll change the way things are done right across the continent.